Hello, I'm Ranch Palace Verde City Manager Ara Moranian with an update from the September 3rd City Council meeting that includes a special announcement from the governor in response to the landslide. After receiving multiple requests, California Governor Gavin Newsom proclaimed a state of emergency in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes to protect public safety amid ongoing land movement that has resulted in disrupted utility services and evacuation warnings for impacted residents. The September 3rd proclamation came just before the council held a special meeting to expand the local state of emergency and seek state and federal assistance after power was shut off to approximately 140 homes in the Portuguese Bend Community Association and 105 homes in the Seaview neighborhood. Citing safety concerns from unstable land, Southern California Edison shut off power over Labor Day weekend in an effort to prevent utility equipment in the landside complex from igniting a wildfire. An evacuation warning remains in effect for the Portuguese Bend Community Association, where both electricity and natural gas has been turned off indefinitely. Seaview's power shutoff is temporary for all but 30 homes as Southern California Edison works on implementing safeguards and alternative energy solutions. The council also approved Southern California Edison retroactive permit request to install a temporary power pole at Ladera Linda Community Park to provide electricity to the Seaview neighborhood. The pole will be removed from the park once a permanent site is found within six months. The power shutoff also impacts telecommunication lines, the sewer system, and pumps that help slow accelerated land movement that has wreaked havoc for the past year. Meanwhile, after the special meeting, the council held its regularly scheduled meeting and continued to navigate the landslide's devastating impact and received input from displaced residents, stakeholders, and leaders on solutions to keep residents safely in their homes. The council extended the construction moratorium within the landslide complex until October of 2025. The council also adopted an urgency ordinance establishing procedures to help residents in the landslide complex stabilize their homes and place temporary housing on the same site as their residents in the slide area. For more information on the landslide and resources available, go to rpvca.gov forward slash land movement. Moving on to other issues, the council considered updating the city's list of potential housing sites in the city's six cycle housing element. Back in spring, the city completed the housing element update, identifying ways the city can meet state required target of zoning for 647 new housing units on 31 properties in various income levels by the year 2029. Any changes to the inventory list would need to be submitted to the state for approval and the process could take six to eight months. For residents with electronic bikes, the council has directed staff to develop an e-bike ordinance and to receive input from the city's traffic safety committee and youth advisory committee for future consideration. Meanwhile, the RPV City Council in a 3-2 vote approved supporting the Palos Verdes Peninsula Unified School District's classroom repair and student safety measure bond that's on the November 5th ballot. The district's Board of Education voted unanimously in June to place the measure on the ballot and if approved by 55% of the local voters, the measure would provide the district with nearly $298 million to complete high priority improvements to aging facilities that are almost 60 years old. For more information on the measure, the landslide and all other issues before the City Council, watch the meeting on RPV TV or on the City's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember we are RPV together.